What's up guys? Today we are going to be installing a new grill, a replica Type R grill on my 2002 7th Gen Civic. We're going to transform the grill from this to this. So let's get started. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of JDM for All and in today's video we are going to be changing out my grill on my 2002 Civic to a replica type R grill. It took a while for me to get it mostly because of problems actually getting delivered but it is here guys it's time to install it. This is my 2002 7th gen Civic. It was completely stock when I bought it and now it looks incredible. I'm really liking how it looks now and it looks really aggressive but it does have a stock grill and the stock grill does look pretty good but I think it will look better with a type R replica grill obviously with a red badge on the type R grill I think it would look amazing I did have a Civic before that I did this mod to with the Mugen lip as well and it looked amazing and it's time to install this grill on this Civic. Look at the Civic, guys. It looks great. So we're going to pop the hood and start installing it. Basically, I believe from what I can remember, you unscrew the screws on the sides in the wheel wells, and then there are like little screw clip things. There's either clips or screws in the center right here that we're going to take off too, and then... Uh, I'm pretty sure the grill is held in by screws in the back. Grills really do make a big difference with the appearance of the front end of a vehicle. I did mod my grill on my lifted second gen CRV just a little bit. Now it's time to get this project started, so let's go. Now you really only need two tools to get this job done, a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. You can use a socket wrench as well, but these will work just fine, especially if you're limited on tools. All right, first things first, we need to pop off all of these radiator uh, cover clips. This one's already missing, makes it a little easier. <laughs> and uh, there's one right here as well. We're going to pop those off. So these are usually pretty easy. All you need is a flathead screwdriver, pop it in there and these usually come out pretty easily. These are probably broken. I believe uh, they're not supposed to come out that easy and I don't think they're supposed to look like this. Next, right next to the front wheel in the wheel well, we're going to remove these little bolts and you can use a Phillips screwdriver or you can use a small socket and uh, we're going to remove this to take off the sides of the bumper. And now we're removing the passenger side. All right, now that those bolts are removed, all you have to do is pop these out. They are clipped in here, so it's gonna feel like the bumper's breaking when you pull on it, but basically it just pops right out. Nothing uh, too crazy. And it does sound like it's breaking when it's popping out, but it's just the little clips. Now let's go to the passenger side and do the same thing. All right, and after these bolts and all of these clips are removed, should be pretty easy. All you have to do is pull on it a little bit and it should come right out just like this. You do have to watch out though because this will uh, get caught on the radiator cap. So you wanna pull this over the radiator cap and there we go. And now the bumper is completely off. Next, we do want to remove this radiator cover. And that is very simple. All you need to do is remove these screws. They are, they go along the back back here and they basically just hold this radiator cover on. There's like, I think five or six. And uh, we will be taking those off right now. After all of these screws are removed, this will basically just pop right off. There are little clips, but they really don't do anything. They just hold it in place. 
and now this radiator cover is gone. Now we need to get rid of this grill, which is the main purpose of this job. So we're going to pop out all of these little clips. There were only four, and then um, I believe these two screws on the sides as well, and then we'll be done um, removing this original grill. If you have any problems actually getting to these clips, all you have to do is turn it towards you and then it will pop right out even easier and you won't have anything blocking you uh, from getting the screwdriver in. And now that the two screws on the sides are out and the four clips at the bottom, the grill should come right out. All you have to do is pull forward and should come out pretty easily. There we go. All right. So there we go, guys. That is the stock grill. It is definitely not a bad looking grill, but we're going to put an aftermarket Type R replica grill on this bumper. It's going to look really good. All right, so let's check out this new grill and see how it fits. Obviously, this is an aftermarket replica, so it's not going to fit perfect like the stock grill, but yeah, that fits pretty good. Okay, so it looks really good, and we'll have a lot more airflow. Um, which is a good thing. So now all I have to do is install these clips in the back again and the screws. So I'm going to do that right now. All right guys, all the screws are back into the grill. They all fit very well for the radiator cover and it does look like it fits pretty good. I mean, for an aftermarket part, I definitely am uh, happy with the fitment and all of the clips are back in. Now all I need to do is put the bumper back onto the car. Now obviously you do want to reinstall this uh, styrofoam piece as well. Yeah, I'm going to install the bumper really quick and then I'll be back. That's what it looks like guys definitely an aggressive look really does look aggressive totally different from the stock look it had before just makes it look so much more aggressive and especially because these cars did not look super aggressive when they first came out stock but check that out guys it does look great that is the finished product obviously i do need a red badge and a mugen badge over here just like my last 7th gen civic project and i have to say it is looking great guys so yeah check that out it looks really good it is definitely different not sure what i'm gonna do with this little chrome piece up here and now that i'm done i'm going to need to wash my hands check that out that is just like that's like 20 years of dirt stuck on my hands from these bumpers <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing and for liking. It helps me out a lot, guys. Yeah, so this grill is now officially off of the car. And now we have a new grill right here. I do have another one. I have my spare from my last 7th Gen Civic in my garage. Now, the last time I changed my grill in my last 7th Gen Civic, it was a 2003 EX sedan, and I changed the grill to the Type R replica as well. This is the grill, guys. I still have the grill. <laughs> oh, by the way, check out this poster. So cool. GT86, what an amazing car. So yeah, that's the grill from my last Project 7th Gen, and here's the grill from this one, guys. All right, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.